Right, so my last attempt at casting a ball for the gun was a bit of a promising failure. I keep it as a memento on a shelf above my desk, ready to cave my head in at a moment's notice. But I still need an aluminium ball joint for the gun, as I don't like the look of the steel gazing globe, and this is supposed to be an aluminium Dalek after all. The last time I tried casting a gumball joint, I tried creating an overly elaborate inner core of sodium silicate sand, which didn't work out so great. This time I decided to keep things simple and create a sand core in the same way I made the core for the eye stalk pivot. I stuffed Mansbond oil sand into a 32mm acrylic tube split in half, with a 12mm piece of tube in the middle of the sand for added support. I reused the same 3D printed pattern for the gun ball joint as before, and this was rammed up in the casting sand. When cutting the gates I wanted the metal to flow past the part, hopefully pushing any loose sand and crap with it. The less turbulent and bubbly metal hopefully then overflows at 90 degrees into the part. I also added a riser on the part itself, as the top of the ball shrank on my last casting attempt. When cutting into the pattern I tried smoothing off the transitions, as these seemed to be areas that were prone to shrinkage casting defects. I also made sure that all the entry and exit points on the ball joint were around its middle, so any casting defects should be hidden by the gun boxes when fitted into the Dalek.
Got a bit of a lump there where the sand broke off. And they're not quite lined up those hemispheres either, so I've got to do a bit of sanding to sort this edge misalignment out, but I think we should be right. Right, so this is the existing gun. I'm going to try and see if I can get rid of this piece of crap and then polish this up a little bit or sand it up a bit and see if I can get this tube to fit all the way through because at the moment it only goes all the way in. Let's see if we can do that. <laughs> Come up easily. So lift a bit extra, should be able to file that back and hopefully maintain the circular profile. Oh, here we go then. I don't know if you can see there's a bit of a bit of shrinkage there which has gone underneath the surface. So that's it roughly filed. Looks like shit. It feels pretty smooth. But reasonably circular. So let's just have a go at sanding it up now and see what a finish I can get. Still a few little surface imperfections. There's one, that's, that's where the actual sprue is sticking out. So it shrunk a little bit there. And there's still quite a few little um, scratches in it, which I think was from when I was filing it. There was little chunks of metal getting stuck in the file and they've put scratches in it. So I think that's gone good enough for the time being. I think I'm gonna go with this end, even though it's got that notch there just because uh, that should be covered up by the ring around the gun and I think this end is a bit of a cleaner surface. I'm actually fairly happy with that. I think I need to clean up this bit a bit more. But I might leave that for a bit. See how the arm and a few of the other bits come out. I don't want to over, over polish some of this stuff and then not be able to get the dome to look like that because basically if the dome comes out like crap I'm gonna have to weather the whole thing anyway so but I think that'll do for the moment though yeah happy so far thanks for watching